there Taurus, how are you? We're going to get started on your tarot reading for the month of February. Let's get started. I want to use this one right here, this deck. It's called the Elemental Wisdom Tarot. All right, let's begin, my dear bull gang. What do we have for you guys this time around? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus too. Yeah, let's not forget about love, okay? Let's not forget about love. Love is important for many of you. Maybe there's a little bit of travel. Look, and who the hell is this showing their head, showing themselves? Look at them. They just have to take a peek. <laughs> they just have to take a peek. There's somebody taking a peek at you. Interesting. Look at that. Look at this card here, 2022. Interesting. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, Taurus. <laughs> so there is a peeper. Okay, there's an emperor here. There is somebody that, yeah, certainly they're looking at you. Look, they were like that. They just couldn't hide. They just couldn't hide. They just, they just, they just couldn't. Look, they couldn't resist themselves. <laughs> so much so that they've given themselves up here. Look at them right there, the emperor. And then look who's right behind them. <sighs> Somebody's watching. <laughs> I'm getting the feel where it it's it's it, it I don't I'm find this energy not necessarily funny but it is ironic the emperor and then right behind the emperor we have the king of swords and then right now I'm hearing like hey like can you get can could you get out the way because I'm trying to look too. Like, uh, what? <laughs> you know, like can like there this one right here. Okay, so I'm getting that there's there's two there's two people watching you, and you see this is the two of there's this is the two of wands. Um, look, and that's you right there. That's the Empress. Yeah, there could be a Libra for some of you, an Aries, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, that's you, Taurus. And I'm telling you, you got two, look, you got two, two, like the twos could be of significance. Two, 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 like the twos. There's two people watching you. I feel like one, you might, maybe you know who this is. This could even be like for many of you, like your husband, your significant other, because look, it's the emperor, the emperors, and they're like watching you very closely. Um, for whatever reason, it, I'm kind of getting little stalkerish vibes from them. Um, for many of you, this emperor is, is your husband, is your significant other. It is the person that that you're in a connection and a relationship with. And then for others of you, this could be like the father of your children. Look, there that was yeah, yeah, that was that was that there. Yeah, they're 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 watching you. Or yeah. And I feel like there's somebody else watching you too. What is this? Oh yeah, that's you, the Empress. Okay, so. Tell me about this Two of Wands. What is this Two of Wands doing here? We have the Eight of Pentacles, and then, and then we have the King of Pentacles. 
<laughs> this is too funny. <laughs> this is so funny. Look, you got somebody else watching you. Look, look, look. Look at look at all these. Look at all these. Look at all these gentlemen. Hey, for some of you, they could start, they could be ladies here, okay? Yeah, there's look. Emperor, King of Swords, and then King of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah, and then look. Absolutely. There there you have there's so, for many of you. I'm I'm connecting with those of you who have, I mean, you're somebody who is adored. And you, you're you're somebody who a lot of people you know desire you and it's because they see your value and they see your worth but most importantly you you see your your own worth you see your value and it's reflected in the way it is that you carry yourself the empress and look at how glamorous and just oh my goodness look at this regal beauty here the empress and then look this one's right this i'm getting a conversation this son here it's like i i i i hey i can look if i want to that's what i heard from this one and then this one's over here look at this one this one is like leaning over like they're like this you know actually they're like this but still like their stance to me is they're uh very attentive and then we have this other one over here like i'm looking too you know look he's this one's he, he, not so this one's in the background. This one stares, okay, for some of you. Like, this person is around you like they stare at you. This one stares at you. Now, for others of you where, you know, this emperor is not your husband, it's not anybody that, you know, it's not your significant other or like the person you're in a relationship with, this person all here, they already see themselves as being with you. And for many of you, this is the, this is your person because it's, this is like, for, for the others of you, you could be in a position to choose who it is that you want to be with maybe you're single and this emperor is already seeing themselves as the one that belongs with you and for many of you that is certainly the case and i say that because well the emperor and the emperor and the empress they belong together but to be honest with you i kind of get the feeling that you have other plans Right, because look, this two of wands came out very early on. I'm seeing this as you, Taurus. You're holding on to this globe, and I feel like you have other plans. Uh, quite honestly, I feel like other than love. And then I'm hearing, and ironically enough, that's when you when you decide that you want other plans other than love. Hey, that's when love comes around in a bundle for many of you. Yeah, this 2022. This 2022 year. You. Are headed in an unknown direction. That's what I'm getting. That's the vibe that I'm getting. Like, where is this one going? well they're allowing their inner guidance their intuition i'm getting yeah you're allowing your inner guidance and your intuition to guide you for many of you there is relocation here maybe by like the water you're deciding to move like you're moving for many of you 
For some of you, you could be moving for work. Or this Eight of Pentacles and this Two of Wands is just representative of like decisions and choices that you have already made or will be making that are meant to help you continue to grow and expand perhaps on a particular gift or in your career yourself yeah like i feel like that's your focus like you you like this person is focused on their money we could say yeah like as to see i see that and look all of these here these these are all suitors these are all watching you look and this one too this one's younger for many of you get the hell out <laughs> well okay and then we have a queen of swords it, good look these are all people i better not see another person okay ace of pentacles look these are all people that are watching you I feel like these, yeah, I'm connecting with the, that. Look at, look at the Empress in this deck. Look at the Empress in this deck. Wow. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a, there's a lot of people watching you. This Knight of Wands. This Knight of Wands for many of you is somebody that has been trying actively to get like get your attention or will be. This is this 2022 year. You see in 2022 for many of you, this here is going to be transpiring like all year. So it's not necessarily for this month because this is a lot of people. Unless I'm connecting with, you know, I'm sure that for some of you, I mean, you're just like extremely popular and you're like so desirable. I'm sure. Yeah. And like there's people that you have this made like two handful of people just running after you. I'm sure. Hey, you know, possible. But for the majority of you, this is like happening all this year, which just tells me that I'm connecting with those of you who um, definitely you have, you're in a, you have a lot of choices and you have a lot of options. And again, like I see you, yeah, being in a position to choose, but again, guys, I just don't see you being necessarily like focused, like focus on, on, on anything other than yourself. Or I should say your focus is your, your, your goals, okay? Your work, your career, yourself, your desires. You, you're wanting to perfect your life, something in your life. Okay, let's, let's put all of this up. What is Taurus's position this time around, Holy Spirit? What is Taurus's position, Holy Spirit? What is Taurus's position this time around? Or just in general? Let's see. What, like what? Like tell me about Taurus. We have the Justice card. Yeah, you see? Blindfold. So for many of you, you've already decided. I know what it is that I want. You see? Look. And again... You know what is right for you. That's what you're going to be doing. You've already made up your mind. You've already decided. You 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 already know what it is that you have to do in your mind. I feel like it's cleared and this blindfold to me is just representative of how nothing is going to be influencing you to decide otherwise. Like you saw all those people there that we, there's a lot of people, Taurus. Now for some of you, those aren't all suitors, but I feel like for many of you, at least all those, that King and the Emperor we saw there for sure. And then all the others could be representative of other people in your life 
that are it seems as though they're demanding your attention or they want your attention or you could possibly you know uh they could they're they're looking i feel to i don't want to say deter you but it might feel that way for you because i feel like you've you've already decided what it is that you want and all those people represent perhaps another path but I feel like, yeah, for those of you that I'm connecting with, I don't feel like there's anything that is going to be mo uh, moving you away from the path that you you are already on or the path that you've said, that's what I'm going to do or this is the way that I'm going. Yeah, and guys, I feel like that's because for many of you with this Eight of Swords, you don't want to feel limited. You don't want to feel restricted. You don't want to feel confined at all. No, you don't. I feel like that's the reason why this is that's that's you absolutely for many of you you could be in a position in your life where you're feeling your best you you're doing well and well you're in you're enjoying your life you're enjoying your own company and you're just enjoy you're enjoying life and you feel whole and With the Knight of Swords, I'm seeing this Knight of Swords. It, to me, it looks like they're going to cut something off. Yeah, look, for many of you, you, you're, you've, I feel like you've cut. I feel like for those of you that I'm connecting with, you've been in a position or you know what it feels like to, to, to feel confined, to confined and binded and restricted to something not being able to do something for many of you you know what that feels like with the eight of swords and with the knight of swords i feel like you're in a sense like rebelling you're like rebel there's a little bit of rebellion here of like i am free and nobody is going to take this from me for many of you this is could also be like putting yourself first like I know what I want and I know what I need and I know what is right for me and I know what I do want and I don't and I know what I don't want and I know what what is you know the most beneficial for me with these balanced scales I know what it is and for many of you I feel like you're just getting yourself out you have gotten yourself out of a situation that was very limited and restricting and you want absolutely no part in that and unfortunately i'm getting that for many of you maybe you associate this with a partnership a relationship because that's like the way that you felt while you were in one or with a particular person and i'm getting that for many of you there's like this sense of freedom and liberation it is that you have uh, accomplished and that you know you you're that you're enjoying and that you want to enjoy and and i feel like whoa what is this yep the full brand new clean slate that's for many of you this is this is what you want you want you want a brand new clean slate and perhaps you know all that that we like you saw all those people there they 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 represent something on your on your slate And I'm hearing, no, I want, I want something completely new. I want to start all over. I want to start all over. I see you cutting. I, f I feel like you've cut a lot of things off already from your life. Yeah, for many of you, I feel like you've suffered a lot. Oh my goodness, absolutely. Look, this 10 of wands. Five of Pentacles and Ten of Wands, absolutely, you've suffered. You've been through some hardship. You've been through some difficult times. And again, I feel like you were in a position where you were made to feel like you were just stuck there, like you couldn't do anything about it. But with this Knight of Swords, I, I, I see you doing something about it. I see you, you I, I, you've done something about it. You've, you've done something about it. And 
this new this clean slate that for many of you you manifested okay you manifested through your own hard work this clean slate that you made for yourself was not easy ten of wands and five of pentacles oh my goodness you struggled and then for many of you as well i'm getting that you're reaching a point in your life where you're re you're, you're getting to a point in your life where you're reaching could be success or where with the Empress, I forgot what other cards were there, the Eight of Pentacles. Anyways, like that energy there, you're, you're doing very well. You absolutely don't need anybody. I'm hearing, but you did need some, you did need them or you did need help at some point. I'm hearing that nobody helped you. Eight of Swords, they saw you in the Eight of Swords, no. But nobody helped you. In fact, for some of you, I feel like they made things difficult for you. I'm hearing, but look, justice is here. And for many of you, 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 okay, certainly could be serving justice. You created this justice, you yourself. Look, here's that clean slate. Absolutely, hey. You have every right. You have every right. You have every right, I'm hearing, to do what you are about to do or to do what, you, what you're doing. You have every right. You, you, you have every right to do that. To say, you know what? I'm leaving. I am moving to, I'm here in another country. Yeah, that just gives me foreign vibes there. Like I'm just, I'm moving, I'm doing this, I'm starting a brand new life and you know what? I'm cutting all of these ties, I'm cutting them. Like I'm done, Ten of Pentacles. I'm done with suffering. I'm done with putting myself through this crap. Like, no, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to do this again at the very least. No, 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 no. Clean slate. This is a brand new start. And then right now I'm hearing and anything that remotely looks like what you're leaving behind, you're like, no. We have the three of pentacles. And then we have the Queen of Cups. Oh my, look, you're leaving for many, you're leaving so many things behind. I'm telling you, some of you are traveling. Now that could certainly be to the other side of town for some of you, okay? But point is, you're moving in a, you're, you're headed in a new direction. And I don't even feel like you completely know where exactly that is. I'm here, but you, 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 you desire that. You desire this adventure, absolutely. You want to head into the unknown. You don't want to know what's going to happen next. You are just open to, for many of you, what it is that the universe has for you. You're just open. You're just open. Let's see what is out there. I just want to see what's out there. I don't want any commitments. I know I just want I just want to just enjoy where it is that I find myself in life. Look, eight of cups. I see you leaving. Here we have the three of pentacles and guys, I see it all working out for you. Look, three of pentacles. For many of you, you're going to find a job like could be in another city in another town in another country for some of you and with the queen of cups oh my god look i just see you being so happy you're gonna be oh my goodness the water could be of significance for some of you you're 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 just really going to be loving yourself and loving life and loving i'm hearing your job and what it is that you're doing you're going to just love the way it is that you feel because you're done i mean because you're done right look you're done
you're done. Ten of Wands, you're done carrying, you know, a load, a burden, struggling. You're done with it, Five of Pentacles. And you're doing away with anything that makes you feel like that. And I'm hearing for many of you, you just want to be free from limitations and restrictions. You know, for many of you, I'm also getting like you're, like you're experiencing, um, you're, there's a mental liberation going on here as well. Like you're overcoming for many of you, like depression, a very difficult time emotionally, mentally in your life. And you're just, Like, I'm getting that for, um, my head is itching so much, guys. Woo. You're, um, what was I going to, you're, I'm getting that for many of you. Just breathing feels good. Let's see. It's gonna feel good. We have the seven of pentacles. Look, oh my God. To me, that's just the person that, that look, they don't have any, they don't have any, any big worries in their lives. Everything it is that they need, they have there. They have it already, Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles as well, guys, is like all of your work, your hard work bears fruit. Seven of Pentacles. All your hard work is bearing fruit. And you're enjoying all your hard work, all your hard labor, everything you put your time and your energy into before that could have failed many times, that costed you a whole lot. It's here and it's solid. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. There's a sense of peace. Oh my goodness, look, that person is at peace. Whatever was worrying you before, it's not gonna worry you anymore. Whatever problems you had before, you will have them no more. And I'm getting that for many of you. You absolutely 100% deserve this, okay, Taurus? We have, look, I'm telling you, Will of Fortune. It took, it, you deserve this with the Will of Fortune. You deserve all the good fortune and all the good luck it is that is going to be, that is coming into your life, okay, that you can expect this 2022 year because we saw the 2022 card. I'm telling you, this is the energy all year. Oh, this is this is a good year for you because it's, you're gonna be, um, you're gonna be getting back the rewards. You're gonna be rewarded. Finally, I'm hearing from many of you with this will of fortune. Finally, it's destiny. I mean, you get what you put out. And look, I'm telling you, the seven of pentacles, it gives back. It takes a little while. Yeah, it, there's setbacks it could feel like. It takes a little longer than expected. But look, you're finally there with the will of fortune. And for many of you, I feel like it's going to come very unexpectedly like I know it took forever but I didn't I didn't know this like this was the year for me you know we have the chariot you're moving on I don't know what the hell you're leaving behind but I'm telling you, you've already moved on mentally. You've you've already your spirit is has already it's has already left the building. I'm telling you, you're leaving. Ten of Pentacles, and you look. Oh my goodness, Taurus! What is? Oh my God. Ten of Pentacles. Shh. You, you're, you're, you, you finally. You know what this means to a Taurus. You know what this means to a Taurus. Everything. <laughs> this is a, this is our suit. Okay, I'm a Taurus. This is our. This is the Pentacle suit belongs to the Earth signs. Okay. 
This is the Ten of Pentacles. This is security. This is not having to worry about tomorrow, next week, next month, or even next year. Because you're good. And let me tell you, this, there's nothing that makes a Taurus feel better than feeling safe and secure. Especially, okay? Especially, 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 especially when it's created by you, Taurus. You did this. You did this. Look, three of wands. There's a boat there. Where are you going? Where are you going? Do you even know? Doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. Look, this, it doesn't even matter. I don't know where I'm going, but I do know where I've been. What is that song? Isn't that a song? I don't know where I'm going, but I know where I've been. That's, I know where I'm going, or I don't know where I'm going, but I know where I've been. What is that? Let me see. Let me Google those lyrics. Cause I'm hearing like a song in my head. I don't know where I'm going, but I know where I've been. Lyrics, you see, somebody Googled it already. White snake, oh yeah, here I go again on my own, going down the only road I've ever known. Yeah, yeah, look, I don't know where I'm going, but I sure know where I've been, hanging on the promises in, song, in songs of yesterday, and I've made up my mind, I ain't wasting no more time. Here I go again, here I go again, though I keep searching for an answer, I never seem to find what I'm looking for. Oh Lord, I pray you give me strength to carry on because I know what it means to walk along the lonely street of dreams. Here I go again on my own, going down the only road I've ever known. Like a drifter, I was born to walk alone and I've made up my mind, I ain't wasting no more time. Just another heart in need of rescue, waiting on love's sweet charity. And I'm gonna hold on for the rest of my days because I know what it means to walk along the lonely streets of dreams. And here I go again on my own, going down on the lonely road, go, going down the only road I've ever known. Like a drifter, I was born to walk alone. And I've made up my mind. I ain't wasting no more time. But here I go again, here I go again, here I go again. And it just repeats itself. Yeah, like, I'm telling you, where are you going? You're not wasting any more time. No, you're not. You're, look, chariot. This, this is a person that is just, it's, guys, I'm, I'm getting that for many of you. This is the year. This is the year. And for many of you, I feel like there's going to be a turn of events where for many of you, I get that you're going to be in a place where whatever it is that you wanted a couple of years ago or last year or whenever, it, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not that anymore. I think it's gonna, it, you don't, you don't even know. I mean, but it's not about knowing what it is that I want. It's about having the, the freedom for many of you to, the freedom, it's about having the freedom to, to, to just be and do. This is beautiful energy, guys. Wow. Let's close your reading. Yeah, I think that's how I want to end your reading. Just one final card. One final card, Holy Spirit, for Taurus. One, oh my God, that was a wonderful reading. We have the Five of Swords and then we have the Five of Wands. What?
that's going to piss a lot of people off. Oh, that's going to piss off so many people. Look, five of swords and five of wands. That's going to piss off so many people. Oh my God. Let them be mad. Who cares? You don't, that person, that person we saw there does not give a damn. Are you serious? Five of swords and five of wands. The nasties just have to show up, huh? They just have to show up. <laughs> what? That's going to piss off so many people. And why? These are, oh my, these are envious people. Look, it's a damn snake. And with the five of wands, let me tell you, I get the feeling, guys, that this is something that is going to piss a lot of people off. They're, the people are going to be mad at what, what you're going to be doing. Things just never change. Some things just never change. What is that, Tupac? Some things just never change. So maybe listen to that song too. Let's see. We have the world card. Look at how happy that person looks. That's you, that's your new beginning. That's your new beginning. That's you reaching the finish line. You're done. I mean, look, wherever it is that you have to get to, whatever, you know, destination, goal it is you were trying to reach, look, the world card, you, you're there. The world card, it's a wrap. Look, what? it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Look, guys, the world card. I'm telling you. This is also full materialization, full manifestation. It's, it's, done, it's a done deal. Look, it's the last card of the tarot. It's done. It's done. Wow, there's, the, you know, this right here, there's people who, let me just, what is, like, give me just one more card, Holy Spirit. There's people that are gonna be so mad at you for doing what you're doing. They're gonna be so pissed off and I'm telling you, I feel absolutely this, the five of swords and the five of wands are energies that will try to just take take your happiness away, all this goodness that we saw there, they, they, want, they wanna take it away, they wanna create problems. This is also envy and jealousy, competition. But look, you're done. It's done. It's done. Like, let's stop it from happening. What are you going to stop? Like, it's already done. Okay. Look, I'm telling you, look, right here. I cut it right here. What is that? It's already materialized. Wow, I'm seeing the five of wands and the five of swords as people who think that they, they can still, like, intervene in your life or I don't know what the hell they think okay it's not good though but look seven of coins seven of pentacles it's already materialized that's that seven of pentacles especially with the world card your hard work is has already materialized that is something it is that you should know I'm here so don't worry don't worry. I'm getting that for many of you. You had a lot of like, um, you had a lot of opposition. You had a lot of people challenging you. You had, you had a lot of people. Okay, still do have a lot of people that do do not want to see you rise to success. Absolutely, with that world card and the seven of pentacles. But look, it's already there. That's what it is that you should know. You've already materialized um, for many of you this new wonderful beginning with the world card and there's nothing anything or anyone can do about it, okay? Not a damn thing. Not a damn thing, Taurus. So don't look, don't worry about that. I'm getting that for many of you. You might be a little traumatized perhaps because of what you've been through, but look, don't don't you don't have to worry about these nasty 
pesky energies. I'm hearing let them fight among, among themselves. Let them fight among themselves. Your, you, you have already materialized this new beginning. There's nothing no one and anything can do about it, okay? Do not worry about that. Do not give your energy to that. Let's get an oracle card to close the reading. My dear Taurus, if you want to book a reading with me, yes, I'm still taking readings, only urgent readings. And I say yes because I believe I've, uh, I told you about this last month, uh, Taurus, that I'm no longer doing, I'm no longer doing personal readings. Can I call you right back? Hello? Can I call you right back? Okay, bye. Okay, what was I saying? Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I'm still taking urgent readings, guys. I'm taking urgent readings for the time being. But I do foresee that changing. I'm not doing 30 minute readings anymore. I'm only taking urgent readings. And well, you, you can book a reading with me if you would like on my website, votrevoyagetarot.com. And as you may, many of you know, I'm not taking these readings uh, anymore. I'm not, I'm not uh, oh, I got a little mixed up there, guys. Sorry about that. I'm not, uh, I'm making all these changes, guys, because eventually I want to spend more, uh, like, be full time, I guess you could say here on, on YouTube. And well, that's what I had to do. I had to create space, but you know, I, right now what I'm doing is I'm just catching up. I have backed up readings, but for the most part, I've spent like, I've been extremely busy this, this year. I mean, we're in February, still early in the year. Pierre, that's my dog. Pierre, sounded like he was choking. I know he's fine. I hear him. Um, he's a little older. He's 10 years old, so he coughs here and there once in a while. He does little stuff like that. Um, I just keep getting interrupted. Let me just get your card. I don't know what the hell. It's just whatever. Let's see. Scene. This one, this once, this, 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 ha this was meant to come out because I saw it. I saw it. I'm getting something. I'm like, I feel like I need to read this card as well because I look, I've looked at the deck like twice and it was there. So these two cards, let me get one more card. This one. Ooh, okay. Two cards. All right. Scene, perspective, truth, knowledge, and clarity. You're going to be, you're going to see the truth twice. Truth transparency sincerity and communication and there's like a key right here guys this is all about like expressing your authenticity this is the throat chakra which has to do um, i connect the throat chakra with life purpose this is about expressing your authenticity who it is that you truly are and doing it without restrictions or limitations seeing you're going to be able to see you're going to see you're going to have a different perspective and that perspective guys is just going to be the truth. Things are going to be so easy guys. I'm hearing that your expression and your communication is just going to be flowing. These are beautiful uh, chakras guys. The, the throat chakra specifically, you know, it's such a beautiful, beautiful chakra to me because it connects you to spirit. this chakra right here a lot of people think it's the third eye you know because you see you know it's like a very you know the third eye is just associated with spirituality and it is and so it's the crown chakra and a lot of people forget you know that about the throat chakra and they don't necessarily associate anything you know spiritual with it but it's an incredibly spiritual chakra your throat it has to do with your life purpose your spiritual mission spiritual communication it's all right here. Perspective, truth, knowledge, and clarity. 
truth, transpar transparency, and communication. So you see these two chakras, guys, uh, they're all about seeing clearly, knowing, seeing clearly, and authenticity. There's like a flow of energy I'm hearing between these two chakras right here that's going to be happening, that is happening for you guys. So this is balancing the throat chakra as well as the third eye. And that in itself there, guys, is just really going to like illuminate you. We have inspiration. It's going to inspire you. Oh, my goodness. I see some of you being like chatterboxes. Ideas spark conception and impulse inspiration. It's inspiring. Uh, expect a lot of fresh new energy expect to be inspired and I do see your third eye and your throat chakra being a major part of this um, of this new conception or, or just a, a, a being a big part of what uh, is driving you and inspiring you. We have personal boundaries, choice, assertive empowerment and authenticity. Guys, to me, this is just you being true to yourself. And for many of you, I'm hearing that being true to yourself is simple, it, it, it's, it, it's simply creating boundaries with people. I'm getting that for many of you before you didn't have any boundaries. You just allowed anybody into your life. And that made other people think that they could just walk in and out of your life whenever. But not only that, it, it just, it, 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 you know, the problem with that was that you weren't doing what made you happy. Personal boundaries, choice, assertiveness, empowerment, and authenticity. This is you just being true and authentic to yourself, guys. Seeing, okay, your path very clearly, expressing your needs, your desires, and yourself, okay, very forward and with ease. Finding your life purpose, knowing, you know, what it is that you're doing in this play, in this world, in this place and time, and knowing you're on the right path. And with the crown chakra here, this violet color, this inspiration, oh my God, this here, guys, creating boundaries for many of you is just going to create so much space for you. So much space, guys. This is what I have for you, Taurus. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was an honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye.